to this video tutorial on Remedy Force reporting. I'm going to walk you through out of the box reports and how to create custom reports. Remedy Force provides a variety of predefined reports that can also be customized and saved for future use. You can access reports in one of two ways through the Reports tab or through Remedy Force Administration. And we're going to select the Create Dashboards and Reports tile and then off the menu Reports and Dashboards Salesforce. And that's brought us to the same place. From the folder list, we're going to select BMC Remedy Force Reports Installed Packages. You'll then be presented with a list of out-of-the-box reports that you can sort by clicking on the name. You can also search for specific keywords. Here, in this example, we're going to look at licenses and how an administrator can use reports to manage their Remedy Force license count. So let's go ahead and key in license. And then we're going to go ahead and click on the report to run it. Now that we have the report data, we can view the results and customize it and see if we want to refine the information that's returned. So this report shows all active users that have ever logged in, so we've got that blank, as well as which profile they have, if they're service desk staff members, but what I really want to see is the users that have a paid license, meaning those that are updating and managing tickets. So as you can see, this is a small population of users in a demo org, so you can easily tell who has a paid license. But most orgs have hundreds or thousands of users, so filtering data becomes important because this is giving me everyone. So let's narrow the results by adding a filter to remove service desk clients. So let's go ahead and click on Customize. We're going to add a filter for profile, and we want our profile not equal to service desk client. Now, if you've cloned this profile and made others in your org, you're going to want to go ahead and add those profiles here and just separate them with a comma. But in our case, um, we're just going to filter based on the service desk client profile. So you can see this now limits the data return, so I can see all access, update access profiles. I can then compare my profile column with my service desk staff column to make sure that they're in sync. And as you can see here, Cynthia has a service desk staff profile, but yet she doesn't have a service desk staff checkbox, and she should. So I'm going to want to fix that. But service desk staff, that checkbox is a key indicator of a user that can update and manage tickets. Therefore, you can also filter the report data by, instead of profile here, you can indicate service desk staff equals true. I also want to point out that there's some other fields that you can bring over into the report if you want to look at license usage. So let's come over here and let's go ahead and add created date to our report. We also want to take a look at last login. For instance, if you, um, if you take a look at these two columns, this looks like a, a user that was created back in March, but yet they've never logged in. So if we can do some of those comparisons, you know, maybe, maybe some of those users don't need Remedy Force update access. So when you've compared your customizations of the out-of-the-box report, we can go ahead and do a save as, and we're going to go ahead and call this staff license report for video. Now I'm going to go ahead and keep this in my personal custom reports folder, but if you want to share this with others, you may want to select a shared reports folder. I'm going to go ahead and then save it. We can go ahead now and close. So another common question is on staff usage of the product. So if we want to determine how much a staff member edits and updates an incident record, we can create a report using the incident history type. However, you can pull other object history as well, change, task, um, depending on what you're looking for to see usage. So let's go here and we're going to go ahead and create a new report. And here we are looking for incident history. So 
So I'm going to go ahead and click on Incident History and Create. Now I'm going to want to make some updates here because this is now showing my incidents, but I really want all incidents. And for the date range here, you may not want all time. You know, maybe you want to look at, for instance, the last um, 60 days. Let's group by the edited by field. And remember, you can either show or hide the details if you want a summary view. You can go ahead and hide them, but let's go ahead and put the details back and run the report. So looking at the result, this gives you an indication of what the usage looks like in your org. These are just two examples of reports that can be run and customized to help monitor licenses and usage in your Remedy Force org. This concludes our video tutorial on Remedy Force Reporting Part 1. Please watch Part 2 where we demonstrate converting these reports and others into a dashboard. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please contact your CSM or email remedyforsuccess at bmc.com.